You know, as we're reaching the peak of Solar Cycle 25, times can be trying. They really can. You know, there's things that happen, and I, CMEs or chrome mass injections are, are kind of common, especially during, during the peak. I, I've seen where average at peak, maybe two or three a day, somewhere in the sun, and those ones that are coming towards us are... Um, can be troublesome. So I'm not going to go over that. I've got another video that kind of talks about solar weather, and I'm really not an expert on it. I'm more of a, I'm really into propagation that happens because of the solar weather. But um, the uh, NOAA, NOAA has a really good uh, solar weather or space weather uh, prediction center site or whatever. I'll put a link to that below. But I kind of want to give you a, a, an idea of what to expect and where to go find out when you know when things are going bad when they'll be good again and when you can get out and operate um as these cmes come at earth you know what happens is um the d layer of the, you know there's the d the e f1 and the f2 layer of the ionosphere that our signals or hf radio signals bounce off are are affected by those layers the f1 and the f2 layer especially for skip um the d layer it kind of acts. It, it kind of acts like a shield. Like if you think about, like, um, like in the movie when when the Spartans uh, put their shields up to protect them. When there's when the sun is sending, you know, the the, the plasma or the uh, the magnetic energy towards us, that thing goes up. That shield and that shield is the D layer. It it it's ionized, and it protects us human beings from what's going on with the sun. Well, it also absorbs up the radio signals that we try to send up for HF. And life's tough. I mean, we're just, it's, it's, the bands are horrible. But right afterwards, they get, they get better pretty quick. And with the solar cycle, it really charges the, through all this, you know, what, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It, it ionizes the, uh, the upper, the F layers and skip gets really good. It really does. So that just happened. I, we just came out of, uh, just, hours ago a cme passing by uh, you know solar winds and everything so things were bad well they should be coming back right now i just got off work i want to play some radio i'm going to put up the most simple thing i can do a mag mount on the hood of my jeep put a whip on it telescopic whip and see if i can make some contacts directly after we have gone through somewhat not a bad one but what we got into a little bit of a solar storm that kind of disrupted uh radio signals so let's put this thing up and see if we can make some contacts stick around okay it's a windy day that's uh, narragansett bay I actually work right over there, uh, building ships for a living. <laughs> and um, quick, just a my tram mag mount, and I have a uh, telescopic whip. I have tuned that thing and measured that thing. I have a little cheat sheet that I brought with me here that I've made. And uh, I've got that thing now. We'll start off on 10 meters. See if uh, 10 meters is still rolling, if it's open. But um, there you go. That's the uh, quick and down and dirty, easy antenna to go have a little fun and check things out. And inside the Jeep, I'm back with an old friend. My G90, uh, just did some repair on it on the back. I don't even want to show it to you because it's a hack job with, with electrical tape. I'm away from home, so I don't have all my tools, but I did get the power cord in the back somewhat fixed. I think it should hold up. I took the rails off that I had off of it uh, just because it fits up on the dash better for situations like this. And um, I'm powering it with my little uh, LiPo 4 6 amp hour battery. So there you go. Uh, let's see if we can make some contacts and have a little fun. Hello, CQ. Hello, CQ. This is Astro Echo 9, Hotel Golf Victor. Astro Echo 9, Hotel Golf Victor. Astro Echo 9, Hotel Golf Victor calling CQ. Stand by. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. I got the station with Oscar, Golf, Oscar, but you're very weak. Come again, please. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, thank you very much. But you're very, very weak here, and uh, yeah, the name here is Gunther Golf Uniform, November Tango Echo Radio. And you're about a five and four, five and four, uh, QSL. QSL, QSL, the name here is Walt. Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm in Rhode Island, USA. You're five five here, five five. I'm 20 watts portable. Uh, Rhode 
sure. I got a five and four from you. I five, five, five and five. And it's not really possible to do a contact here. I'm very sorry. I'm mean, here in the most western part of Austria, near the border triangle from Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. The name is Kim, so I'm running 100 watts into a vertical antenna. QSL. QSL, QSL. I am just, um, I'm mobile, actually. 20 watts with a telescopic whip on the top of my Jeep. That's all I'm doing. Well, Roger, you're a mobile station. Is this correct? QSL, QSL. All right, conditions on 10 are not that great, but hey, I made a contact, a good DX contact. I'm going to go move the antenna up now. I guess we'll try 15 meters. Let me go extend the uh, the length of this uh, quarter wave for 15 meters, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, absolutely nothing on um, nothing on uh, on the 15 meter band. It is like quiet from one end to the other. So I'm going to go out there again um, using my antenna tape. Uh, I will tell you this: um, you can probably see the blow on it. Uh, you got to be careful when you're pulling that thing and your thumbs on it. Yeah, I, that happened. <laughs> I'm all right. Just it's like a paper cut almost. But um, I'm gonna go uh, trim it up one more time. Let's let's try 20 meters and see. We got that one contact on 10. Let's see if we can get anything happening on 20. Okay, 20's got people on it, and uh, this antenna is horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off and uh, do something a little different. I'm gonna just put my little spike over here in the uh, in the ground. I'm not down by the beach. I'm close to it. Spike and a, and a counterpoise uh, with the same antenna on the ground, and we'll go that route and see with uh, get off the jeep body and get down on the ground for a uh, for a ground plane and uh, and see how we do there. So give me a second. I'll put that up and we'll come right back. Okay, here we go. I got the antenna here on my little. Uh, super antenna spike one counterpoise and what i did was kind of coupled it over to the uh to the fence there wrapped it around there 50 feet of uh coax going back to the jeep let's see if this works kilo better for oscar golf oscar kilo four oscar oscar golf oscar the correct qsl k4ogo the name is walt whiskey alpha lima tango portable 20 watts in rhode island usa QSL, QSL, I have operated and worked in Poland in Swoopsk. How close are you to Swoopsk? Please repeat, QRM, please repeat. Yes, uh, what part of Poland? What, what city? Ostruda, Ostruda city, Warmia and Mazuria. Right, uh, Roger, Roger, I have worked in uh, north of Poland uh, near Gdansk quite a bit, so I love your country. Dzień dobry, thanks for picking up my call. Thank you, 73. Bye bye. Poland, baby, Poland. That was awesome. I love those calls. Everybody's pretty strong tonight, I'll tell you. So let me try to pick up the Kilo 4 first. Go ahead. Yeah, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Right, I thought it was something. Uh, yeah, two letters, yes. Uh, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. A very good afternoon, sir. And I, you are 5 by 9. You're at the park US 10542. 10542. Copy. Copy, copy. The name's Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I think the reason I'm 5'9 is so strong is we're very close. I'm at Quonset Point, Rhode Island. Oh, well, that might explain it, Quonset Point. I'm going to pass that way on my way home. Uh, so that's not a park there, is it? Uh, no, it's not a park at all. I just I work right by here, and I just got off work and uh, wanted to throw an antenna up and play radio for about an hour or so before I went home. So good to get you in the in the log there, though, for... Uh, for Poda, I appreciate it. Thanks for activating. Okay. Well, that's a fun one. I got a little glare here, and I got a, uh, we'll call that electrical tape band-aid. <laughs> if it worked. Hey, fun activation. I get a little frustrated here. I wish I built a better antenna. I could not believe how well, how 20 meters sounded. Usually after this, the noise floor is really high. It was not that bad. I mean, my G90 is noisy anyway, but that was pretty good. Um, and at that last Cuso there, I uh, wrote out, that guy, he's just right across from me, not not far at all. I would probably say, 
I'll, I'll look it up maybe 10 miles away. So uh, definitely a, a ground wave signal to him. But um, Poland, baby, Poland. I love it when I make contacts to Poland because I basically off and on lived there for two years. And I love uh, the Polish people. And that was, uh, that's I get excited on that kind of things. And uh, just, I enjoyed it. But um, fun thing, like I said, watch if, you, if you're like kind of a new operator. This is kind of not real technical. Go to solarham.com. And look at the uh, the charts and uh, and, and kind of give you an idea. They're not always that accurate. I know you look on QRZ, and you'll see poor, poor, great, great, great. It's not bad. I'm not putting that down. That's pretty good. That's Boulder, Colorado, always where that's at. If you look at um, what's going on with the sun, and you look at SolarHam.com and 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 look at the three day prediction, the weather prediction for the sun. It's usually pretty close, and it updates quite a bit. I mean, it, this morning when I got up, it was even different than when I got off this afternoon. But um, fun time to come out. You know, when when you want to do something quick like I'm doing right now, just look at that. Yeah, okay, now might be a good time. And that, we were coming down off of that, um, out of that little, uh, you know, disturbance, and uh, and that had a good time with it. So fun activation. I'm going to go pick this stuff up and go get some dinner. Okay, here's dinner. Frank and John from Italy's Restaurant and Pizza. I love these places and this place just screams great food. Let's go in and check it out. All right, let's check out this menu. Clams, Zupa over pasta, red. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So uh, that's gonna be it. Here we go. Oh wow, that looks great. There's a side of uh, garlic bread there. That really looks good. I can't wait to dig into that. And I got some vintage cola. <laughs> I'm driving, I'm good about that. So. Uh, Yep, there we go. Let's dig in. Oh my God, this was so good. I knew I knew this place would be good, and it did not disappoint. I'm gonna finish this up. This is just amazing. There's the crime scene. That was absolutely delicious. Wow, that was amazing. Uh, I like places like that. That place reminds me when I was in my 20s. I think I was about 28 or 29. I was working in Livorno, Italy, and a little place I'd go to. Uh, similar to that and the woman there would call me her American son and boy I never left there hungry she would just stuff me and stuff me and stuff me she used to kid she used to, I, I would get fish there a lot she'd go the fish is swimming three times it's swimming the sea it's swimming the olive oil and it's swimming the vino so I had a little bit of vino there quite a bit while I was there as well so places like that I just I love little small Italian places especially uh, that have like seafood fair you know kind of coastal Italian stuff like that but anyway getting back to uh the whole video itself um check out that website if you're you know with things are you're getting frustrated uh times are bad or whatever as far as uh conditions check that for solarham.com it's a great website and it's usually pretty accurate and it's, it's spot on well guys i am uh, i'm ready to go home start all over again tomorrow that was a great day great quick just get on there kind of uh, almost embarrassing the antennas i just hacked that all together but uh hey i had a good time and uh we talked about a good topic make some contacts ate some good food and um until next time guys uh please like and subscribe and um you know the thing see you soon k4 ogo i'm walt out